coming to you from uh, Somerset Lake um, near DeSoto, Missouri, uh, about an hour south of Missouri. Have a good property for you today. Um, buildable lot, um, three lakes, fireworks, uh, campgrounds, um, tents, RVs, um, boating, skiing, fishing, uh, 4th of July celebrations, all kinds of stuff. So have a good one for you. Here it comes. Uh, remember, if you're looking for uh, um, either an infill lot or a um, some acreage, you can uh, go to lotsoracres.com, L-O-T-S-O-R-A-C-R-E-S.com. Um, Casey Jewett with Lots of Acres. Here you go. Going over the uh, Somerset Lake property that uh, that is for sale. Uh, got a good good price on this one. Uh, this is a, a great community here. I'm gonna swap these screens out and see uh, Somerset Lake here. You have three lakes actually in the community. Uh, you can see the first one, Somerset. That's the that's the big one. Scroll out a little bit here. Got a Winter Haven Lake, and then I'm not entirely sure what this one is. It's actually an extension here. Um, there's a little bridge here that you can go under to get to this section. Uh, this big lake does allow for speed boats. You can do uh, um, jet skiing, you can do water skiing, fishing. Um, the other lake down here, this one's an, these, this one and this one up here, they're idle only, um, but you can do fishing. Um, not all I can do with the idle speed other than fish, just kind of coast around, um, chill. Um, these two lakes are not connected here. Um, there is a boat launch that is right here. You have some parking over here for this lake. Um, I could say it is a smaller lake. Now, if you're wondering where the the lot is, it is right here. Let's see it right up there. Um, it's the third third lot in. This road here is actually currently gravel. It is going to be paved um, within within a, a couple of years here. Um, I talked to the to the HOA manager there. They're doing some other roads right now, and then that one's going to be done as well. Um, cool thing about this lake, it does have. If we scroll out here, so if we start in here, it's going to kind of drive right through here, Lakeshore Drive, come across. So this bridge right here takes you across, um, and this will take you back out. But this is where they set up on 4th of July for fireworks. Um, you can see it right there. Uh, they do fireworks. Um, th this year it's going to be the week after 4th of July, uh, but they do have fireworks. Um, there is a campground, a uh, beautiful little campground here. Um, they have a tent area, which... I think is back in this area. These you can tent back here. These are set up for your RV campers. Here, as you can see, uh, quite a few spots. Uh, they do charge per night for those if you want to use them. Um, it's twenty-five dollars and fifteen for a tent. Um, back here, if you if you do want to do some uh, take some trees out, do some yard work, um, they do have back here. Um, well, one the trash is here for you. Um, that is um, a part of your HOA fees. Uh, but they also have a burn pile here, so you don't have to worry about the brush, anything of the nature. They do take care of it. Take you back out here. Um, again, this is the bridge that goes across. So you can see here, here's the boat launch um, for the big lake. Um, they do have parking that is right over here. Scroll out a little bit. Right here. They do have uh, parking for that, as well as, you'll see here this, this roped off area, kind of all around here. Um, that's a swimming area, as well as white sand beach, as you can see, very beautiful area. Um, under these trees, kind of a little bit difficult to see, there, there is um, um, grills. Um, they are charcoal grills, um, no gas grills, um, but they were all under these trees as well as right about in this area here, there is a playground as well as a basketball court um, and horseshoes. They are taking the horseshoes though, and they're taking them over to, um, by the campsite, uh, give the campers a little something extra to do over there. Um, gated community here. Here's the, the entrance that comes off of 
um, Highway E here. It's real close to town. You do have, this is the um, Property Owners Association. Um, they are there. Um, I think it is uh, Monday to Friday, and then a little bit on Saturday. They're like 9 to 5 and, or 9 to 3, something like that, and then um, 9 to 12, 9 to 2, something like that on the weekends. You do have a guard shack here. A uh, little bit tough to see, but we do have a, a guard shack when you come in. You do have to have a key in order to, to get in the gate, which is a nice thing. Then I'm going to scroll out here. You can see if you just went up Highway E here, um, not too far. Here is DeSoto. Um, it's really only about a seven-minute drive um, to DeSoto. Um, as you can see, we're not far from... Um, here's the border of getting into to St. Louis. So if we're here, Festus, another big town, it's about an hour to get downtown St. Louis. So pretty nice little area outside of town. I'll show you a couple of other other pictures on this one. Um, this is a scrolled out view. So there's Somerset Lake where we were. Um, the property is over here on on this side. Uh, right over here somewhere. Uh, Fisherman's Lake is what they called that other one, since you can't do anything besides fish, really. Uh, but you do have some other lakes in the area, too. Uh, Limbeck Lake, DeSoto Lake. Um, so some nice nice little things that are that are close by. Yeah, like I said, it's the third, there was a third one in here on, on Henry Drive. Um, that's the, the entryway. You have a beautiful um, entryway. Um, if you're into chess, um, you got your beautiful chess piece right there. And like I say, it's about an hour drive to downtown St. Louis um, from where it is there. There's a couple different routes to get there, um, but about a, about one hour. You can see all the different lot lines. There's a lot of lot of building happening here. Um, pretty cheap HOA. This one is, uh, I don't have it. It's either 205 or 280. I'd have to pull it back up. You know what? This one is, I have it right here. 280 a month. So you can see the appraised value by the assessor, 3,500 um, bucks. We're only asking 1,400 um, bucks. And if you say you got it off YouTube, I'll take off this $99 doc, $99 doc fee, um, and you can have it without it. Um, same holds true for the for the owner financing. You could take that route. Um, doesn't matter to me which one you choose. Um, they both work. Uh, whatever's most convenient for you. Get you back to this rook. I think it's a rook. A um, couple more pictures of the of the of the property there. It does it does have a slope um, from the back to the front that uh, was kind of like that. If you do plan on building, just so you know, um, it would not be conducive for a walkout basement. There's a little bit better picture for you as you can see how that that's laid out. But there's the there's one of the smaller lakes, and then there's the big lake. Again, just a uh, scrolled out view, um, showing you where DeSoto is there compared to the property. A couple of pictures without as much vegetation there. Um, it is fully vegetated, it has trees all there, so you can, if you want to build, great. Um, if you just want to use it for um, activities, there you, have, um, you can. Again, you can see the sprawling lake here. It is a, it is a big lake. It has um, that big lake is 87 acres for fishing, swimming, boating. 34 acres for the smaller one, and then the Spring Lake, Fisherman's Lake, whatever you want to call it. They're both idle speed. You can do some fishing as well on there. Um, HOA fee, again, is $280 a year. But look at these little taxes, less than $50 uh, for a year. Um, three lakes. They do some great things. Um, fishing tournaments, hay rides. Um, they do a lot of things for, for kids. They have 4th of July celebrations, movie nights. They're always looking for things to do within the community in order to... Um, make it more lively uh you you do have paved road city there um city power and and in and, and water so again this 99 dollars doc fee if you don't if you say you got it off youtube i'll take it off for you um be happy to do that so as you can see at desoto actually um named after hernando desoto um a spanish conquistador uh, way back in 1857, and then uh, you do have St. Louis with the Arch, um, cool place to visit if you've if you've never been. Um, lots to do, and then just a little map of some things in uh, 
around DeSoto. So that's what we have today. Um, it is a, like I say, it's a lot in, in a Somerset subdivision. Um, it is priced below. There's a couple for sale from the HOA. It is priced below what they're selling them for. Um, so if it's something that you're looking for, go to lotsoracres.com, L-O-T-S-O-R-A-C-R-E-S.com. And uh, let me know how we can help you out. I look forward to talking to you soon.